I'm Susan Lewis in the WRTI Performance Studio, here with astral artist Emily Levine. Emily, take it away.
That was so beautiful. A very famous piece by Brahms, Intermezzo, written, transcribed, and performed by Emily Levine. Emily, what inspired you to transcribe this very famous piece for solo piano? I first heard it, I think, my sophomore year in undergrad, and it was in just a regular music history survey class, and I was so struck by its beauty and its beautiful warmth that sort of envelops you, um, and I thought, how perfect it would be for the harp. And so I put it on, and I think it sounds, well, not better, but it just brings out the richness of the harp in so many great ways. Well, I, I'm guessing that you feel that way about a lot of pieces because your program is designed to show the harp in new ways. Now, you are a principal harp of the Dallas Symphony Orchestra, and I guess in that role, you're very familiar with the orchestral repertoire. What repertoire are you exploring now? So one of the things that I love about the harp is how much color exists within this instrument, um, just in terms of texture and timbre, and it's such an intimate um instrument to play because we use our fingers um, and so we have a lot of control over the sounds that we get. So I'm currently um, just exploring new ways to highlight the harp and sort of let it showcase its dazzling array of possibilities. Well, and the next piece we're about to hear was premiered yesterday at your astral recital. Tell us about it. Um, this piece is called Music for the Temple and it was inspired by a uh, pretty serendipitous trip to the Guggenheim, where we just happened to see the exhibition of Swedish abstract painter Hilma of Klint. Um, and I could go on and on about how brilliant she was, but she takes series of paintings and they start with pretty realistic concrete images and motive by motive and little symbol by symbol, she deconstructs the image. And so by the end, um, the motivic elements are the same, but the piece is totally abstract. Um, and so this piece is sort of a musical exploration of music musical motifs that develop and change throughout the course of the work. Wow, great. Can't wait to hear it.
Oh, what a lovely piece, expressing so many different moods and showing the amazing range of the harp. Yes, absolutely. I was going to ask you what it was like to work with the composer, and then I see that we actually have the composer right here, composer Jonathan Zeiner, who happens to be your husband, right? Yes. <laughs> a Congra <package> deal. <laughs> Congratulations. That was a beautiful piece, Jonathan. What's it, what was it like, uh, what was your process like? putting this together. Well, thank you, first of all. Um, harpists are very, very nice um, most <laughs> of the time. Their instrument, though, sometimes can be a little intimidating. Um, so it's very nice to have a resident harpist. <laughs> um, Emily's so um, giving and wonderful in terms of being able to ask her for all kinds of advice literally on the spot. Um, so when I'm writing a piece for harp, whether it's a solo piece or, or in an ensemble or in orchestra, um, I'm constantly walking into the other room and asking <laughs> Emily for some for some help and advice. Um, so in that respect, it's, it's an ongoing collaboration. Um, and even like last night, right before the premiere, I asked her to add an octave or, you know, add something. And, and she said, OK, you know, we can make it happen. So she's, she, you know, she's extremely um, nice in that in that respect. And it makes writing for this instrument um, so much easier um, in, in many ways. And I guess you could tell him exactly what you wanted to, to showcase Yes, I think I can be a little bit difficult being having a very specific list of demands or being like, can this be made a little bit more idiomatic? Um, but it's so much fun to 
work together on professional things like this. And I think John just nailed it with this piece. It's just so evocative. Um, and there are so many different characters going through it. I love to play it. Well, it's beautiful. And the idea of you working at home on this leads us to the next piece because uh, the next piece is about home. But one of the ideas that you've had is um, a project called Groundworks. Could you tell us about that? So my recital last night focused on the nature of home and the characters that live in homes, emotional qualities or physical characteristics. Um, but the idea for Groundworks is was inspired by my return visits to Colorado, which is where I'm from. And every time I would go back for concerts, even this past weekend, I was just there for concerts. And people who are friends with my parents or know me since I was a little girl, they come to these concerts and they're so excited to see what I've been up to or to hear the music um, that I'm playing. And it got me thinking about how transient musicians are, how we rarely end up in the same place where we grew up. But these hometown communities that first supported us are so important. Um, and I love new music. The harp um, is a pretty modern instrument and we don't have the breadth of repertoire that say violins or pianos do. So I'm a big advocate of having living composers write new music for us. And so I combined those two ideas and this commissioning project um, is for one composer from each state, including Puerto Rico and Washington, D.C. And um, composers are writing harp-centric works, either solo or for small chamber ensemble. But the pieces are premiering in the hometowns of the composer and in concerts that are curated by the composer to sort of showcase the composers' works and musical influences, but also to celebrate those hometown communities that first supported them. What a great idea. And this next piece is not part of that project, but it, it is about your home, so it means something to you in that way. Yes, this is the Colorado Trail by Marcel Grangeny, and I learned it because my teacher in undergrad told me it'd be so appropriate for a Colorado girl to play the Colorado Trail. <laughs>
That was terrific. The Colorado Trail. Emily Levine, thank you so much for coming in and sharing your music with us. Thank you so much for having me. This has been a pleasure. And thank you also to John Siner. Congratulations on your new composition, Music for the Temple. And good luck with Groundworks. It sounds like an amazing project and will result in 52 new pieces for the harp. Thank you so much. We'll see. It's going to be a long journey, but I'm excited for it. (laughs) That's great. And to our WRTI listeners, thanks for joining us in our WRTI Presents Astral Series. You can hear this performance and learn more about the artists and more at wrti.org backslash astralpresents.